Hello everyone, back to you in today's uh, second video. So we're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. So day 10 will take us around the 14th of January and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles available to around uh, a couple of weeks. Going to have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video. For the next four weeks we will bring you up to date with all of the latest developments stratosphere-wise. And I shall get on with that for you uh, very shortly. I just say that the January 2021 month head forecast has been uh, released. So we're going for a rather colder month. Some wintry potential in there as well. And there may be a very cold spell at some point during the month. But there will be milder periods too, we think. Sort of a classic, sort of severely cold January. But, but nevertheless, quite a coldish sort of month is expected. So have a look at the January forecast if you would like to do that. Right, so let's start off with stratospheric uh, warming then. So uh, the sudden stratospheric warming continues. Um, this is from the JMA. Uh, look at the temperature at 10 HPA. You can see that we have now lifted the black line up to around minus 25 degrees. I told you these are quite dramatic, didn't I? Uh, where we do get a sudden stratospheric warming. So that's really lifting up. Uh, now it's well above average. The grey line uh, down here is, is like where we should be at this time of year. Somewhere around minus 65 degrees so the temperature's lifted up a lot in the last two or three days um and that is reaching sudden stratospheric uh, warming uh, levels in terms of the lift up in the temperature going a little bit lower down to 30 hpa this uh, warming is beginning to propagate down as well as the temperature is starting to lift up from where it was at the beginning of january on the first of january i suppose um at around uh, minus 75 lifting up now to around minus 55 so uh the warming is begin to propagate uh, from the um from the strat from the from like the stratospheric level at 10 hpa a little bit lower down still in the stratosphere but closer to the troposphere at uh 30 hpa very significant developments we've got a split of the polar vortex as well uh today so uh this is how the temperature currently looks in terms of uh temperature at 10 hpa you can see that the blue colors here these are the cold temperature at 10 hpa they've been kind of pulled apart uh and we've got this green and yellow area infiltrating into uh, the Arctic. So that shows that we have had a split of the polar vortex. So that's showing the temperature up to around minus 20 um, now. So if we go back to here for today, we're up to around minus 20. So that will see the black line lifting up further. It will go up tomorrow when it takes around, probably go up to around there. So be right back. So we have reached sudden stratospheric warming temperature levels. Although sometimes they can go even higher than that. They can go right up to around minus 10 or, or even to uh, like zero degrees uh, occasionally. Uh, right, so let's see what GFS is forecasting to happen then. Uh, so, if anything, it might lift up even further. It goes around minus 16 um, in the next few hours. So, on this scale, that would take it up to around uh, there, I suppose. So, that will lift the black line up quite a lot more, uh, actually. So, so yeah, a split of a polar vortex um, taking place uh, right now. It does reform quite quickly into uh, tomorrow, however. So it's only a very brief split of the vortex, but the split nonetheless is a very, very significant development that is taking place in the stratosphere um, right now. And you see that although we do have a blue colours like coming back, particularly on our side of the palm, um, they, they don't come back conviction. It's certainly not nothing like what we saw last year. We have the polar vortex of doom that just went on for months and months and months and months. Uh, this is nothing like that. Uh, whatsoever as we run into the more extended range again also i've got another warming beginning to take place there jeff is just starting to pick up on this at times i think another warming taking place into the second half of january and again that is reaching sudden stratospheric warming levels over siberia quite unusual to get two sudden stratospheric warnings um within a winter so so could that be like a second sudden stratospheric warming might be and that would be quite unusual um for that to happen uh, this is from uh, ECMWF uh, via University, uh, University of Berlin. So look how temperatures have dropped out at 1 HPA. For zone winds, I should say. Look how the zone winds have dropped out at 1 HPA. That's as far as you can go to still be in the stratosphere. Um, so the zone of wind there has completely reversed, absolutely collapsed. This is going to spring back up very quickly, but that is a complete reversal of the zone of wind at 1 HPA. Going down to the more significant level, because that's a well above the boundary level of where weather is taking place in the, in the troposphere. But going a little bit further down to 10 and 30 HPA, which is closer to the troposphere, you can see that currently, that's the red and blue line, see currently they are sort of still, the zone of wind is still positive. It has weakened where it was earlier on in the winter. It wasn't all that strong earlier on in the winter, actually 
actually, but it has weakened from where it was earlier on in winter. And at uh, one and thirty H P uh, at uh, ten and thirty H P I should say, zero winds are being forecast to um, dropping to reverse, uh, particularly so at uh, ten H P A. Actually, that's the black dash line. But you see just there, that is a reverse of zone wings at um, at 10 HPA. At 1 HPA, we kind of go down to around neutral. But basically, both at, uh, at um, 10 and 30 HPA, we are looking at a reversal of uh, zone wings. Um, and as I say, this is very significant. This is significant uh, developments within the stratosphere. And we wait to see what effects this sun traffic wing uh, will have, you know, uh, what, what effect it will have. We have had a lot of blocking already uh, this winter. Will it continue to enhance the blocking? Will we can see the blocking get even stronger? Can the blocking get even stronger? Um, or will it re realign the block? So I suppose the blocking will probably continue, but will the block block sort of realign and we get placed onto the mild side of the blocking? It's going to be really interesting over the next sort of uh, two to four weeks to see what impact this a very significant development that is currently going on right now as we speak, um, what impacts that has on the stratosphere. Uh, and, of course, on the wider web system. Right, so uh, CET looks like this. Uh, we're currently standing at plus one degree. So that is uh, two and a half degrees below average. That's provisional to the uh, 3rd of uh, January. Provisional to yes. So it has uh, it continues to be a cold start to uh, January. Uh, GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles looking like this. So the red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average. You see that we are substantially below average right now, and we'll to be so. I'm uh, at Bournemouth today, by the way, another suggested location for this part of the video. If you'd like to have your local town or city featured in this part of the video, then please email us at gazwebers.gmail.com or ask us through the comments, and we are happy to feature your local town or city whenever we have the opportunity to do so. Um, so for the next sort of week, uh, temperatures are going to be, upper air temperatures are going to be uh, significantly below average, probably the next 10 days. Middle of January is showing more signs of turning milder now, turning milder through the middle of January. That would be, but don't worry about the sun traffic warming though, and, and think that we won't get any cold weather from that, because that would be before any expected impacts from the sudden stratospheric warming, if you see what I mean. There is a time lag between having sudden stratospheric warming and, and getting impacts from it in terms of the, uh, in terms of weather. So we probably wouldn't expect much impact from this sudden stratospheric warming till around two to four weeks um, from now. So so it, this is before you would expect any impacts from the SSW. But we are seeing a mild, uh, a milder trend at the moment for the middle part of January. Precipitation-wise, while it's cold, we've also got uh, some wintry precipitation coming up and then after that we're going to get more uh, precipitation spikes uh, as as it goes milder so this is a relatively dry period just here but there are precipitation spikes there and some of them could be wintry given it, that it's quite cold um, but beyond that we get more precipitation spikes appearing here but at the same time the temperature does start to uh, lift up so milder and perhaps more unsettled wetter perhaps around the middle part of January temperature anomalies on the 4th to 12th January going to be cold and average through most of northern and western Europe precipitation anomalies from the 4th to 12th of January going to be dry and average cold and dry sums it up although there will be some precipitation around and some precipitation could be wintry. Uh, later we we'll find that from earthnullschool.net shows winds are going to be coming from an easterly direction particularly across England and Wales so looking cold with easterly winds at the moment it's not a beast from the east though the air is not originating uh, originating, I should say, the air is not originating from like Siberia, so it's not like a uh, February 2018 easterly, but nevertheless, it is it is a cold easterly wind that we've got with us at the moment. Right, so this UK Met is looking for uh, Thursday, so uh, still looking cold on Thursday. High pressures out to our northwest, so we're still bringing wind from an east or northerly direction. Those northerly winds continue through Friday and into weekend. We find the high pressure toppling down across the country, so that high pressure will turn us mostly dry, probably, over weekend. But of course, it's cold under that area of high pressure. And we will be expecting uh, some really potentially quite hard and maybe even fairly severe uh, overnight frost next weekend if that came off. GFS also has a wind in from the north on uh, Thursday, so risk of rain and snow, uh, rain, sink, snow for Friday as well. And high pressure drops down into the country as we go through next weekend. It turns mainly dry, but it will be cold in that area of high pressure, and there could be more overnight frost as well. 
early part of next week, we'll uh, bring another little system in from the uh, Atlantic and then winter back into the North Ghana. And then we get a more defensive build of high pressure around the middle of next week, turning his most dry, but still cold and about reef, still plenty of frost. It's not really until we get beyond day 10 that we start to pull some milder air in from around the top of the reef from the uh, North Atlantic. So, so it does go milder, but still mainly dry and that area of high pressure. We finish up by the 20th of January, perhaps suggesting we go back into something of a colder northwesterly once again. GM looks like that. So again, northerly winds could bring a wintry shower, particularly to northern and eastern parts of the country through the weekend and into the early part of uh, next week. Get another swipe from the north. So uh, yeah, another normally plunge around sunny the temp to Monday, the 11th of January. Then we go milder with west to southwesterly winds setting in as we move up towards the middle part of uh, January. So this is the 14th of January, day 10, and winds now are coming up from the southwest. Albeit, we still have higher pressure to our northeast, and it wouldn't take all that much, actually, to keep us within the cold air. Don't take a very slight adjustment. We'll probably still stay cold there. And then the ECM looks like that. So again, uh, winds in from the north on Thursday. So from cold, risk of winter showers. Uh, Friday through to the weekend, have high pressure dropping in across the country. Turns us mostly dry, cold with some frost. I mean, to the early part of next week, we get some milder air coming in from off the Atlantic, although normal scuffing probably still stays quite cold. It goes cold again, actually. The ECM goes cold again by day 10, which is the 14th of January. You get this ridge building uh, over the country and to our north, and we're still within cold air, or we're back within cold air with that. So maybe that's the start of things getting cold again uh, at day 10 and afterwards. This is the precipitation type forecast uh, from Tometio.com based on that ECM run. See, lots of rain coming up in this far southeastern quadrant. It's a little bit cold. That will be snow, of course. But a lot of cold rain with some sleet in the southeast corner for the next couple of days. Um, and then we go through into the second half of uh, next week. And we will begin to pull down those northern winds. So wintry showers running down the east coast. But there's a lot of dry weather involved with this. So not all that much snow around uh really then we're into a milder interlude for a while uh as we go uh to to like uh, the early part of next week we bring we begin to get some rain coming in off the atlantic before that sort of starts to move away to the south we start to turn colder again uh, from the north by day 10 and also drier. These are the options on the table in the ECM ensembles today for day 10, which gets us to the 14th of January. We have 17 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure to our north and northwest, low pressure to our east and southeast. Winds will be coming in from the northeasterly uh, direction. Uh, so that's still quite cold. 12 with high pressure over. And just to the west of the country, winds a little bit more westerly. So mainly dry, but quite cold with that. 11, with high pressure just out to our west, winds in from the north. So mainly dry and quite cold there. And another 11, with high pressure up towards Greenland, but also to our south, low pressure to our east. And, uh, and so winds are coming in, or trying to come in from the Atlantic, but probably still quite cold, because this does include the control and the operational run. And we know that the operation run is cold at day 10. So it's trying to get a bit milder, but it's probably still quite cold. Generally, most of the options are still favouring cold weather to some degree, actually, at day 10. Uh, whoops, want to go there. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. This one will get us to the 19th of January. We have 18 members of the ECM ensembles looking milder. Uh, low pressure out to west and bringing in more of a westerly wind. 17, with high pressure just to our north. Winds are coming around that high pressure from the east, and then 16 with high pressure up towards Greenland, low pressure through the country, jet stream coming through the country as well, that could be unsettled, um, that would be unsettled, and uh, um, potentially a little bit milder as well, so two weeks out, we're possibly seeing signs of a milder interlude. And then, of course, we will wait to see what, if any, impacts we get from the sun stratospheric warming towards the end of January. Uh, CFSV2, finally, so he's uh, 500 bit of our heights going down to week peers. The first week peer takes from the 4th to the 10th of January. The coming week has high pressure blocking to our north. Low pressure is to the south. Winds are in from the east. Cold and wintry, potentially, in the week ahead. Week 2... Going to take us from the 11th to the 17th of January with high pressure again to our northwest. Low pressure is to our east. Winds could be coming down from the north with that. 
so still quite cold up to like uh, the middle of January there. This one's mild. This is week three, 18th to 24th of January. Low pressure is back in from off the Atlantic. High pressure is to our south. Winds are coming up from the west southwest direction. So that is definitively milder, despite still having a lot of northern blocking. Despite still having the high pressure over Greenland, we are milder there into the third week of January. And looking milder for week four as well. This is the 25th, 31st of January. Again, with low pressure out to our west and northwest. High pressure is to our south. Winds are in from the west or southwesterly direction. So generally cold up to the middle of January, then possibly a milder spell setting up at some point in the second half of the month. But we should wait and see about that. And then as we get towards the end of January, we begin to think about what impacts could we get from this sudden stratospheric warming, if any. If you have enjoyed this video, please can you click like, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Don't get to tell your friends about Gaz Weathers, get them to subscribe as well. And uh, drop a comment and let us know uh, what you thought about this video. And thank you so much everybody for doing that. Uh, right, so uh, that pretty much sums it up, uh, I think. So, uh, yes, uh, going to be cold for the next week to 10 days, uh, possibly milder into the middle and second half of the month, and then we look to see what impacts we get from sun and traffic rate warming and the reverse of zone winds, uh, 10 HPA, um, as we get uh, towards the latter stages of January, which, of course, is a very long way out, and so we need to wait a lot longer to see about that. Okay, don't forget to check out the January month head forecast. Tomorrow, the ECMWF 30-day forecast for the UK and for Northern Europe as well is uh, is back in business. That's been laid off for a couple of weeks over Christmas, Christmas and New Year. That'll be back tomorrow uh, for, for a look at the ECM for the next 30 days. And uh, we'll have a 10 to 14-day update as well for you tomorrow. So so just keep an eye out and uh, and see what's happening. And, um, and all of the videos will be coming up for you over tomorrow and the next few days as well. As we get back on track after being having a little bit of a break over Christmas and the New Year. Wednesday, we'll have the USA Outlook back. Thursday, we'll have the week. Uh, week 10 day forecast in detail for Europe back. So so all of the features, January Friday will return on Friday. Everything is going to come back. Uh, everything is going to come back now that we are beyond uh, Christmas and New Year, including the live streams. We will be live streaming on Wednesday. There's no two ways about that. Right, that's it for now then. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, that's all for now though. Bye for now.